Moody Street bank robbery suspect Stephen Bryson told police that heroin made him do it. He stated that he had done it uh, because of, uh, quote unquote, the drugs, the heroin. Bryson is a freckled Waltham native who lives in Hudson. He was arraigned on armed robbery charges Tuesday and held on $20,000 bail. The 47-year-old allegedly passed a note to a teller at the Moody Street Bank of America around 3.45 p.m. Monday afternoon. I have a gun. You have 10 seconds to give me the money. Bryson fled northbound on foot, passing a Gordon's Liquors surveillance camera. He tried to change clothes to elude capture. Waltham Police Captain Kevin O'Connell spotted him in a grimy parking lot behind Tedeschi's less than a block away from the bank. After viewing films and uh, getting a description of the suspect, we were able to make an arrest. If he robbed the bank over there, I don't know why he'd run right next door, you know. The whole thing was over in about an hour. Bryson doesn't live in this rundown building, but he allegedly stashed the cash under a stove in a tiny apartment rented by a friend of his who was not involved. His brother was my best friend, and, uh, you know, it just bothers me that he would do something like that if he did do it. Police found no gun but recovered all the stolen cash, roughly $1,300. Too bad I didn't find it. <laughs> In court the next morning, the prosecutor said Bryson had a long criminal history. Uh, Eleven separate guilty findings. And that he told police after booking that he was just an addict. And at this time is using between four and five bags of heroin a day at a cost of $200. He stated that that's kind of what drove all of this. The robbery comes as cheap and potent heroin continues to cause overdoses across the Northeast. Danny, I just buried, yeah. We, we found him in a hotel with a needle in his arm. But syringes are being found all, all over the place. Police Chief Keith McPherson said last month that five OD'd in Waltham between February and April, already matching the total number of deaths from 2013. Uh, which is a pretty alarming increase. For Waltham News Watch, this is Chris Wangler.